my father and mother lived a very structured life. There was hardly any variation. Um, and from quite an early age, I sort of resisted being regulated into a particular kind of uh, way of being. And I rebelled all the way through. Truman Capote had just um, written In Cold Blood. He was sort of God to me. Um, I was very lucky because I got an invitation. I sort of had a feeling it was going to be like a big occasion for me. When I got into the Grand Ballroom, I realized that I was one of the youngest people there. The next morning I had uh, a call from Dick Avedon and from Diana Vreeland saying, can you come in, we'd like to photograph you. So it was incredibly exciting. I think I went to have lunch with Deanna Freeland in her office. I was a little bit nervous. She just made everything sort of seem like a great, a great world. You know, we just had fun together. I forgot, you know, that she was the editor of Vogue. And then the next thing I knew, I was in Dick Avedon's. And uh, I'd done my own makeup and he did some test shots. And I just, remember falling in love with him as he sat cross-legged um, on the floor with uh, his Rolleiflex. You know, I just thought that I'd died and gone to heaven. He saw inspiration in, in every gesture and in the person that he saw through his camera was not an outer shell. It wasn't all about how you looked. I don't remember what was in my mind when I was painting on those eyelashes, I'm afraid. I think it might have been taken from, I hate to tell you, mime. I, I quite like the look of disguise. I wanted to disguise my face as much as possible. I never had any idea the work that I was doing would last more than, you know, an issue of folk. My father lived in the West Indies, my mother was working very hard. So I was able to roam around New York from a really early age, which was, I just loved. And of course, I met all sorts of people um, that I probably wouldn't have encountered otherwise. I love Peter Doig, the choreographer Wayne McGregor, Andy Warhol the way that they thought was so new. Artists like Grayson Perry, and musicians like Dylan and Joan Baez, you know, Diana Ross, the Supremes, or it was Stevie Wonder, who was 12 years old. You know, the Beatles, I mean, the Beatles just had such a huge influence. They could connect you with that current. There are a lot of Tibetan Buddhist teachers and each has their own personal style and extraordinary way of teaching. I'm also interested in how the brain works and the effects of meditation on the brain. Quite apart from that, every day there's millions of things to be inspired by. Every single photographer I've ever worked with has been radically different. I was asked to appear in a feature on Girls My Age for Town and Country magazine, and um, Diane Arbus was the photographer. We really neat. Well, I certainly had no idea who Diane Arbus was. He, she hadn't made a name, I had just been out hunting, can you believe? And I was dressed in um, sort of jodhpurs and a tweed riding coat and a velvet riding hat, God. And um, she made me lie in a field in this garb. I've been up since four or something. There was something about it that was, I remember, still remember feeling, you know, like I was, my space was being invaded. The pictures turned out to be so horrific. They look, you know, I look like a Diane Arbus kind of character. Um, my father saw the pictures 
and he said, no way are they going to be printed. So she came back. I can't believe it. I love the picture now, but at the time I thought, you know, what is she on about? I never thought that my looks would be considered kind of modeling standard looks. I love clothes. It was about how you felt and if there was something actually going on inside. A lot of fashion now, fashion photographs now, girls and you see a sort of blankness. And it's interesting that, um, you know, the, the really the really good models somehow have something going on, you know, something about their character comes out through their eyes. And um, I just think that's quite interesting. I think style is very closely connected with the essence of an individual, and so therefore you can't really define it because it's about an expression um, that comes from you know, deep inside. Uh, when you see it, you know it. You sort of know what style is. On a ferry crossing a river in Cambodia, you know, it's just a very deeply inherent individual expression. You know, the ability of your clothes to make you feel different and to be able to transform your sense of who you are. I know it's quite superficial, but you know, Wearing the right thing at the right moment can actually change your life.